Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We recently watched government leaders from around the world gather in Glasgow for COP26, a conference where the world's elite tell the rest of us how we need to give up our WestJet companion vouchers and eat less Alberta beef, a typical day in PMJT's agenda. Rather than living as they would have their subjects live, our country's leaders packed their suitcases and their Spider-Man costumes and flew to Scotland. As blue-collar Albertans are being told to shut down their trucks and livelihoods for the sake of our climate, our Prime Minister had no problem joining hundreds of world leaders flying across the globe in private jets, also for the climate. Trudeau, along with his newly minted, building-climbing Spider-Man Minister of Environment and Climate Change, Monsieur Guibault, has led Canada to spin a web of empty pledges, willing to do whatever it takes to virtue signal to the world we are addressing climate change in a way that satisfies the little emperors of COP26. Regardless of how many blue-collar jobs are lost or how many Albertans will struggle to feed their families, Canada must trust the judgment of a man who gained his fame by performative climate change theatre. It seems not much has changed for Mr. Guibault in his new role. Prime Minister Trudeau likes his performance, and the Alberta NDP seems to like it too. The leader of the opposition, the former Premier, literally shared the stage with their dangling hero in 2015 to applaud a new carbon tax and emissions cap on Canada's economic engine, Alberta's oil and gas sector. The NDP's favourite performer is taking up a new role since his box office flop as Spider-Man turned into four walls and a window with bars. He's now playing at Canada's Minister of Environment and Climate Change. However, the storyline will not be a comedy, Mr. Speaker. Unfortunately, this is shaping up to be a Greek tragedy, with the sad death being our Canadian economy and Alberta's oil and gas sector. Mr. Speaker, the former Premier has ex exited stage way left of public opinion. The drama teacher is now the jet-setting producer, and Albertans have seen this movie before. No thank you. Here, here.